Welcome to this tutorial. This is Matisse, trainer here at Toon Boom. I come from a traditional animation background and then I've worked on a couple of productions mostly as a rigger but also as a character turnaround artist. I've done animation on a game and I've also worked on animated advertisement. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to set up elements of a scene at different depths in the Z or Z axis. We're going to learn how to animate your camera and how to move your animation inside that 3D space that you just created and have it interact with background elements. We will end up with a final result where the elements of our scene overlap one another and don't retain the exact same position in relation to the camera, which will give a much more realistic feel to your scene rather than static. Now, before we jump into this, let's go over some useful preference settings that you want to activate before working. So let's head to the stage, preferences, if you are a Windows user, you'll find this under the Edit menu. Then let's go to the General tab. And, okay, so the preferences that you'll want to have activated is the default separate position for pegs. You'll also want to have focus on mouse enter and shortcut zooms on the mouse. So this will allow you to uh, toggle between your different windows in Harmony and have your shortcuts work on the window that you're hovering on without having to click on it. Then we're going to go into the node view and have the double click on a node opens the editor activated. So this will allow you to access the layer properties without having to click on the yellow box you'll just be able to double click on the node we'll go into that later you may also want to note that if you're not on the premium version of harmony you won't have access to that tab let's head to the drawing tab now and we are gonna change the onion skin render style so let's put it to outline only I'll show a demonstration of that later and Last thing, we're going to go to the timeline and we're going to check the reduce indentation which allows you to see the names of your layers closer together by reducing the angle of the diagonal on the left side of the timeline. Alright, well let's get started. 